Hey Capricorn, how are you? Welcome to Embodied Waters. So we're going to look at your February 2024 forecasts. Okay. <laughs> four of Wands, Four of Cups. Hmm. Celebration about refusing something and focusing. So you may find yourself refusing yourself. I'm getting even refusing yourself. It could be something that you want but you know you don't need or doesn't serve you all right so and you're being celebrated for that okay so let's see and this feels like something that is happening in the previous week or bef like in the previous weeks before entering february so yeah you're being celebrated cap okay whatever this is it feels like you're trusting your intuition and going with it. All right, first week, second week, third, fourth, and fifth. We're starting with the week of the 29th of January, and this is why I'm calling it the first week. So let's go. The sun, clarity. Uh, this is, yeah, this is something that may be really be revealed or is already being revealed to you and you're getting more clarity about the situation. This may also be to do with a divine masculine. Um, yeah, but this is giving the vibe of full moon in Leo that is revealing something and yeah, you may find yourself refusing an offer or attempt I'm getting it something that feels too good to be true that is like a temptation and you are refusing it or you have refused it since this is where assuming this is February 2024 okay so the highlights here let's see oh yeah I feel like that message also may bring you some clarity five of swords and four of pentacles is the highlight for February 2024 this is something from um I'm getting clarity about a spiritual warfare or it may be coming in your dreams. You see, another energy of four is like your stability. It's like you are very grounded that you can see through energies. So wherever this offer is coming from your past, this could be a family situation. I feel like this could be a family situation and you are protecting yourself you're protecting your energy you're protecting your heart it's like you've wrapped up your heart in this bubble and that is how you're moving okay in the first week strength so you're practicing a lot of strength and the full moon energies are still prominent around this time of the month. So yeah, there's a lot of strength that you're practicing. You may be feeling emotional or you may be regulating your emotions at this time. This is all to pour into your manifestations, pour into your focus. So there's something significant about your focus here. And now that I remember your week for your reading for the week of the 28th until the 22nd until the 28th was not clear to me. Yeah, there was something that was unclear. Hmm. So it's like you're needing to hold on to your truth. You're needing to straight stay true to who you are at this time. Stay true to your manifestations, to what grounds you. In the second week, the highlight, 8-8. Eight, eight. Staying true to your manifestations. You have victory in this. There may be messages coming in here as well. Uh, it could be spiritual downloads. It could be also confirmations like, yeah, I've been on the right track all this while. So you may be getting confirmations about something that you've made a decision on. And it has to do with your grounding, your self-protection. Okay, not going back to the past. So it's like you have victory in this. So whatever this is, is going to come in to test your strength. And I'm sending you so much strength as well. Okay, in the third week, we have the Empress. Look at you. 
this five and you see the, the five three five three it shows someone who is who has made you know they've covered a lot of ground in their new cycle and the ground they have covered they have not necessarily seen some physical evidence to back up the work they have put in okay yeah and it's like you're going to be seeing a lot of massive breakthroughs when it comes to this past energy because we've taken out the three and it's standing on its own. So this is you standing on your own fully. Like you're holding your own, having your own, being confident in your own. And three, four, that is 34. So it may be to do with, uh, this number may be significant for you. And three plus four is seven as well. Seventh house. Hmm, let's see. There's something about relationships. The seventh house represents one-to-one -one relationships, including marriages, romantic. Wow. 34. Okay. The seventh house, and this is something that is maybe to do with Scorpio as well, because this came, this energy came for Scorpio, not the reading itself, but this seventh house energy one-to-one -one relationships including marriages romantic partners business partners and even enemies yeah so there's something to do with your it could be family with the empress being here yeah it's something to do with the empress something to do with fertility pregnancy ideas birthing ideas whatever the case in the third week you're going to be fertile with ideas it could be to do with your work but this is someone who is ready to birth a new baby in any form okay and they're being they're protected they're abundant and it's because of the victory that you've had from the past. So it's like there's something that needed to be cleared from your past that is now clear that is allowing you to sit more in this abundance. In the fourth week, the world, the completion, three, three. So it's like you're coming fully into, you're being rebirthed, you are being like a newborn baby so this may be connected to you may have something to do with taurus as well you're both at signs makes sense um yeah you're coming out there's something to do with a completion happening here and this is just towards the full moon in february i think it's called the hunger moon and in the fifth week, the week of the 26th of February, three of cups in the inverted position is pointing to three, three, three. It's pointing to a completion when it comes to a group of maybe friends, a circle you used to hang around, family as well, or even the completion to a group of people that were I'm getting ganging up okay maybe you felt like this where you were being ganged up against or you were being come you, you were being come against if, if those are two words that can come together but yeah there's something about a group that was trying to bring you down Okay, and you felt this. You have fought this. In your dreams, in the physical environment as well. These are energies. And there's a completion to that just around the full moon. Wow. This video may be more than 10 minutes, so you can find the full video on YouTube. Water Guardian, connect with your emotions. One one seven.
Take time to understand how you really feel. Know that your sensitivity is not a curse, but a gift that allows you to receive and understand messages directly from your soul. Water is the element that is in your blood, your tears, and your flesh. The water garden represents the angels of water who can help you dive within to understand the depth of your emotions. These angels are all about helping you see that your emotions aren't just the feelings that are on the surface. They are also the old emotions you may have locked deep within the shadows of your soul. Through helping you acknowledge your deepest emotions, the angels of water help you to hear the messages they have for you and to unlock your intuitive powers and the energies of abundance. Your angels want you to know that it's okay to feel, your, feel the emotions that are surfacing in you at this time. It doesn't matter if they are joyous or sad. They are all powerful messengers that allow you to understand what you want and need. Taking time to breathe and acknowledge them lets them flow through you rather than crashing down on you as an overwhelming wave. Know that there are also intuitive psychic messages arising in you at this time and unless you acknowledge everything as it comes up, you may miss important guidance that can lead you to support and love. Okay, Cap, and this is coming right on top of the Empress and the world. So this may be to do with a mother figure and the completion yeah i'm getting the completion of maybe a gathering that you used to frequent or be in the completion of that and it's requiring you to connect with your emotions but again when we get to that bridge we shall cross it okay if this message resonates, please like, share, comment, subscribe, follow, and I'll definitely see you with more, vid with more videos. Send in so much love.